Hello there. Okay, here we go. We're going back. On the second part of this clean my life closet revamping. So the next step that we're doing right now is trying every single piece in my closet. It's really humid here in the Philippines, which means I'm gonna be sweating a lot and my bangs are gonna be really mad. My forehead and acne is gonna be thriving and my makeup is gonna be melting and it's gonna be a good day. I think it's gonna happen. You're gonna be overwhelmed with clothing as I'm gonna be. Let's head on. Starting off with the tops that I wrangle my HS body into, here's my share of tank tops ranging from color and design, and damn am I a sucker for details. I'm currently heavily attracted to lingerie slips that can easily elevate my outfit, and yes, oh yes, we are bringing back velvet. Another neckline that I gravitate towards is the halter or mock necks because they, not to flatter myself, work with me. And this unnecessary amount of black tanks that feel kind of like a Chinese finger trap. So exhibit A and of course exhibit B. Oh god, that's me. <laughs> As a dancer, I have my fair share of leotards that give me a daily wedgie and as a person living in a tropical country, some tube tops and of course, off the shoulders which are great for the needed clavicle exposure as well as the constant struggle to raise both hands. I literally only have three types of shirt necklines which are v-neck, round neck and mock neck. I promise, I don't know why I don't want anything else but I will venture out in other necklines. Somewhere here and there, I got you. I I'm a thrift for some more. And this weird football jersey that I've never worn. <laughs> I am too an avid fan of collared shirts because they make outfits a tinge bit more formal and groovy when going for that 70s vibe, which help with the vintage hoe in me. My collection of button-ups is scary, but I have a great reason since I'm entering the working force soon. My job will entail me to wear a certain type of energy, and I am 100% going for boss bitch, no doubt. And on the comfy side, long sleeve tops covering my lack of waxing for the month and for my cold-ass classrooms. These tops are for the times that the weather blesses us with some rain and cool breezes or when I am in my studying or editing cave. This is basically 80% of my wardrobe and you know, it's just it's the comfy factor. I love it so much. I am trying to bring back vests, emphasis on trying, but you know, on the longer side. Jackets are my staple piece. I love changing up the silhouette and vibe of outfits just through my choice of outerwear. I need to expand my color choices though. I'm currently on the lookout for lavender and beige tones because I am just literally on blue, red, green, and yellow. Black and white, obviously. But then aside from those, I really need to expand the rainbow. <laughs> but aside from that, I do love outerwear. Going downstairs, we got my undying love for mini skirts. That's right, I said undying. <laughs> that I wear on a weekly basis, literally almost every day. Trying to run from the college dress code of nothing ending shorter than my fingertips. I love playing with lengths and patterns because I want to half introduce myself through my outfits, and this is the best way that describes me. So it, it is most of the time short, but with a whole lot of flavor. That's right, I said flavor, not flavor, because flavor has so much flavor. <laughs> oh god, that sounds so stupid. <laughs> To help out with the Philippine heat and humidity, shorts have become my best friend apart from occasional chafing. It is still a great staple, you know, it's for the wind and all that. Dropping it down to the flow, we got my apple bottom jeans with occasional boots and no fur. Cause we do not support animal cruelty over here, haha. <laughs> Well, I know it's in one of my previous videos I mentioned my deteriorating love for jeans, but that doesn't mean I still rock some here and there. But yes, I have converted to wide leg pants along with flared and culottes. I don't know, it's just something about how it makes my legs feel good, which affects my whole mood. That rhymes. But basically, if it ain't right, I'm a fight. And we all don't want to fight because violence is never the answer, so we just gotta get a good pair of jeans to make ourselves feel better. 
When I want a continuous air and flare, I make a beeline towards my dress section. The simplicity of wearing one piece yet it being one whole outfit still amazes me. Slip and sundresses are the majority but I still love playing around with halter and t-shirt dresses. The minority are polo dresses and my one and only romper and of course wrap dresses. I can never forget wrap dresses. When I don't want to be dress coded, I have a couple of long dresses but most of them are for events that require me to feel as if Leonardo DiCaprio just called me and wants me to feature the next great Gatsby or when I drink in my room and just dance my single ass away but moving on my body can carry all of my emotional baggage so I have material bags to help me with it it's not much but it's all I need for now <sighs> Alright, I'm done with the video. Thank God. It took me four days to film this. That wasn't technically everything in my closet because I still have like my training clothes and my home clothes which are basically just t-shirts and shorts that are just so not worthy. Aside from like the clothes that I borrow from my mom, from my dad, from my brothers. If I filmed all of that, I would be filming for about a good two weeks. If I am too lazy to actually search through my closet, I'll just watch this video again and be like, okay, I can just wear this and this. So technically, there's a good reason for filming these kinds of videos and yeah there's that i'm tired and i'm so ready to edit hope you guys had a great day be kind to everybody because you don't know who needs it the most and always hydrate because the sun is really really mean and just have a great day <laughs>